Here's the thing about these Chinese charge controllers. The volts was up to 29, so the volts was good. But they never do an equalized charge, so what I did was I unhooked all the cables and I got my 12 volt solar panel. It's out on the end of the shed here. It's a little 90 watt panel thing has 5 amps. Something like that. Anyway, it's uh it's been going for about 15 minutes now. And it's giving it a boil. Now, I don't know how long you can do this. I'm going to do it for about an hour. But uh, that will get rid of a lot of the sulfation. And it would never do that uh, with that Chinese charge control, so I'll have to do it manually. Uh, it's pretty inconvenient. But anyway, there's really I don't think there's anything wrong with the Chinese charge controller. That's that these batteries need to uh, cycle through. They're coming... Uh, they're into the white part right at the very bottom of it and the fair part. They're getting better and better every day. And they're new batteries. Uh, I just run them down too low. Hard to get them to come back. They'll come back, I believe. Anyway, it's, it's doing that. <laughs> Equalized charging. Let's see what the voltage is. 15 volts exactly it'll be all right that's a little bit more voltage than than it should be but it'll be just fine okay uh, friend of mine electrical engineer gave me a little idea on how to ground my um, go power so we won't get shocked doing laundry. This is a uh, three prong cord. It has a ground right here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these deals off. And I'm just gonna leave the ground and then I'm gonna put some black tape on the end of them. I'll come back. Okay, I um, taped each little end, then I wrapped some tape around both of them, kind of hold it all together. Then I have a ground. This is only, a, looks like it's only about a 16 gauge. But, you know what, that'll probably work. And then I'm going to go plug this in to my power strip, which has three prongs. And it's plugged into the wall socket, which is, has a ground. So... Let's go do that. Okay, I think y'all can see that. Got her set up. I hope that this works. I should. We'll see. If I can get some contact on that little ring terminal. I think I can. It's hard to do stuff with the camera set up. That's cameras. Right in my way. Let's see. Will it fit in the hole? Oh, yeah. You know what? That's almost like that was made for it. That fits in there perfectly. I just got to crank her down. Oh, get in that slot. Screwdriver. Oh. Make sure we got good contact. Alright. She's almost grounded. Now I just got to Plug her in. I could plug it into the plug plug-in. I don't know if this cord will reach. We'll find out later. For now, I'm just going to put it right here for a test. What's the matter with this? Uh, okay, I bent it a little bit. 
I'm gonna fit now. Perfect. All right, there you have it. She's grounded. Maybe it'll work now. I hope so. Let's see. Green lights on. Let's try to sweep the floor. Hope it works. May have to get a new plug, you know. I got the little Hoover flare out. Oh. I think I got a reset. Oh, it did. It's gonna work. At least for now. Yeah, Well, there you have it. We're using sun power to sweep the little carpet in. Screens, they never come off. Either. Trying to empty this thing out. This is a no bagger here. It's working though. It's doing a pretty good job. I think I need to dump it out so it'll look better. I don't wood. Clean the filter. Filter off. Well, Pretty cool. I think the filter's clogged up on it. Alright, well. There you have it. I was warning you guys if they're sleeping. Alright, well that needs to be empty. Not working too good. Well that was solar power. Yeah, look how full that thing is. That's the problem. I'll empty that out and then it'll work a lot better. Alright, I won't bore you with me cleaning that out. I only been boiling for about 35 minutes. No? 45 minutes. Started at 10 till. And then there's 30. 40, 45 minutes. 25 minutes of boiling. I think that's long enough for today. We'll do it again tomorrow. I'm going to switch it over on these other batteries. I bet the voltage is up there. I'm not going to check it. Well, I'm going to move these battery leads, this one and this one, over to here on these other two. Well, you know what? It didn't charge it up any at all. In fact, it may be worse. Isn't that something? Okay. I'm not impressed. I thought that was going to help it boil in a little bit. If anything, it seemed to have made it worse. I don't know. It ain't up as high as it was. That's disappointing. See what this one looks like. It was closer to that fair. Until I did that. Now that is pretty close to the fair. I don't know. I don't think these batteries they need to be cycled down and up a couple times. To really know if they're going to be bad. They seem bad so far. They don't have very much of a charge, I don't think. Not according to this meter. Oh my, I made a mess. Yeah, that's not up as far as it was last time. Well, that's really disappointing. Well, this battery, it made it all the way into the fair condition. Yeah, that cell too. I think that this battery here is weaker than all the rest of them. I may take it back. 
I think so. It may be dragging all the rest of them down. Now that one came up into the fair on two cells so far. Yeah, this better on the left. It came all the way up into the fair part, right in the white. So that really helped it. I think if I did that every day for a while, it'll float charge most of the day and then come in here and give them an equalized charge. But this battery, I think I'm taking it back. I've noticed that every time that it's lower than the rest of them. And I think it's got problems. It may be causing the rest of them not to take a charge right. They should if it was up. If it was good. Alright, let's check the voltage. It's at uh, about 14.2. Or just a perfect voltage. It's it's going to come up. I, you know, I wonder if that charge control up there puts anything in. I mean, I got it unplugged right now, but I'm going to get me a new one. The Sun Savers, like uh, Kilo, Kilog G69, those are good. They're MPP. But uh, he gets them cheaper in Florida. If I try to give them off eBay, it costs twice as much as if they charge in Florida. Should have got one then when I could have off of him. He had a couple he got rid of. I'm sorry, I didn't buy them now. Uh, money's always a problem. I think you all know what I mean. 